Welcome MTG Burgeoning viewer. This is a quick message to remind you of our rewards for September. If we get at least 30 subscribers during the month of September, then one subscriber will be chosen at random and receive an entire set of Modern Horizon art cards. Also, any subscriber who comments on every MTG Burgeoning video during the month of September will become eligible for the October Pack Wars. On October 1st, a list will be compiled of all subscribers that commented on every MTG Burgeoning video released during September. From this list, one subscriber will be chosen at random to participate in the October Pack Wars for free. If the chosen subscriber is already a Pack Wars supporter or member, then that subscriber will receive a second spot in the October Pack Wars. So be sure to leave a comment and prepare for war. We're MTG Burgeoning. This is Mystery Wednesday. Subscribe now and join the movement. MTG Burgeoning here, and this is a list of 10 flavor texts from Throne of Eldraine that we can all relate to. Hello and welcome back. MTG Burgeoning is here and today we are doing another top 10 list and today's top 10 list, 10 flavor texts from Throne of Eldraine that we can all relate to. And as is customary with so many top 10 lists out there, before we get to our official 10, let's look at a few that just didn't make the list. And we're going to start with honorable mention number one, Emberith Shieldbreaker. And the flavor text reads, Courage is the only shield I need. And to me, that means confidence. Display confidence and you will win the day. That's how I relate to that flavor text. Honorable mention number two, Fabled Passage. From here, the path to anywhere may be found. To me, that's empowerment. For me, that means that your path lays ahead of you and you can get to anywhere you want to go. And hopefully everyone can relate to that. And lastly, honorable mention number three comes from Idyllic Grange. Every hero's journey starts somewhere. To me, that's motivation. For me, Sometimes I like to think where you get, where you end up, is the path that you take, is the journey that you take. And everyone starts from somewhere. And that can be very motivating. All right, so with our honorable mentions out of the way, whoosh, let's get down to our top 10. Number 10, we have Joust. Life is a tournament that rewards the bold. For me, that goes back to being confident. Display confidence and you win the day. Joust is number 10. Number nine, Hushbringer. Come on, camera. Work with us. Come on. There we go. Let's begin this conversation again, and this time you will only listen. Everyone's been there. Sometimes a conversation also means an argument, a debate, a fight. And it's very hard to hear your conversation partner, your debate partner, your arguing partner, if he or she is not listening. <laughs> and this is very relatable to everyone, I think. Sometimes the best conversation is the one where only one person listens. Hushbringer is number two. Number three, Love Struck Beast. His mind chose solitude 
but his heart disagreed. Who's been there in a battle of mind versus heart, intellectual thinking versus emotive thinking? Happens all the time, happens every day. I'm sure it's happened to everyone here. Very relatable flavor text. Thank you, Love Struck Beast. Number seven, rally for the throne. If you're as loyal as you claim, now is the time to show it. For me, this is relatable because sometimes you find out the true colors of those people close in your lives when you need to find out the most. When there's something that's going on and you look for a resource or a source of support, it's then that the individuals that we trust the most in our lives are either there for us or they're not. And if you're as loyal as you claim, now is the time to show it. Very relatable. Rally for the throne. Rounding out the bottom five of this top ten flavor texts of Throne of Eldraine that we can all relate to is Sir Farron the Hengehammer. Words are pointless. It's what you do with your hammer that counts. For me, I relate this to the time-tested cliche of actions speak louder than words. And I think if everyone were to reflect on their lives and their different corresponding life areas, I don't think it would take a great deal of imagination or creativity for anyone to come up with anything or anyone where you have been told countless times over and over again, something is going to happen. I'm going to do this. This is going to change, but nothing ever does. Actions speak louder than words. Well, in the case of Sir Farron, the hammer is more powerful than words. And that's the bottom five. All right, so we're moving on to our top five. Number five, we have All That Glitters. A fairy's glee at her trove quickly fades to contentment, then to boredom, then an urge to steal more. For me, I relate this as, well, greed, avarice. She's sitting on a pile of what looks to just be treasure, yet it's not enough. She's got to have more. And I think everyone can relate to at some point feeling that same way. Sometimes more is just never enough. That's how I relate to all that glitters. Number four, into the story. The boundary between real and imaginary is as thin as the page and just as easily torn. For me, this is highly relatable to one's mental state. Mental health can be a very fragile thing. And sometimes the border, the barrier between good mental health and mental health that's in need of improvement is razor thin. This card also reminds, reminds me of the scene in The Dark Knight where towards the very end of the movie, if anyone hasn't seen that, stop here and fast forward a little bit so the spoilers don't ruin the movie for you. But it's when the Joker is describing to Batman that madness, like gravity, only takes a little push. And for me, Into the Story is relatable and synonymous with that quote. All right, top three. Number three, Emberith Paladin. The king would die for the realm. I would not hesitate to do the same for him. Now this, for me, is very, very um, similar to the flavor text that we talked of with Rally for the Throne. 
rally for the throne, if you're as loyal as you claim, now is the time to show it. And Emberth Paladin is saying, the king would die for the realm, I would not hesitate to do the same for him. For me, how I relate to this, this is loyalty. This is empowerment. This is someone who you would want to have on your side, in your corner, watching your back. And with Paladin, you could be with me all day long, baby. All day long. All right. Number two. Number two. Inquisitive Puppet. The strings were gone, but he still felt the pull of invisible forces tugging at his mind. For me, and I'm going to hope for everyone watching this, this should be highly relatable. If there's a conflict and you believe that you have freed yourself from that conflict, whether it is an emotional, a psychological, a physical, some kind of conflict that presented inner turmoil to the point where self-dialogue just wasn't enough to overcome it. You may have thought that you resolved the situation, but however, those invisible forces tugging at your mind are indicators that maybe I haven't resolved the conflict that was truly going on. You might have believed the strings were gone, but there's something still pulling them in your mind. And to me, that's pretty relatable. Not every conflict, not every problem can be resolved with simply cutting some strings. And here we are, number one, my most relatable flavor text from Throne of Eldraine comes from Epic Downfall. The dragon had a lot of things going through his mind that day. He didn't expect a sword to be one of them. For me, I find this to be very relatable in the sense that this speaks to the potential of feeling overwhelmed. When there are so many different things going on in so many life areas, we tend to put blinders up to things that may not appear to be important. When in fact, a sword coming straight through the head may be the most important thing to pay attention to after all. And I think we're all not guilty of it. It's just a defense mechanism. It's just what we do. We're human. That's what happens. And that's Epic Downfall, my number one. Folks, this was MTG Burgeoning. And you just watched a top 10 flavor, list, flavor texts from Throne of Eldrain that we can all relate to. May you never need to mulligan. And may your spells never be countered. This is MTG Burgeoning. Thank you again. Welcome MTG Burgeoning viewer. This is a quick message to remind you of our rewards for September. If we get at least 30 subscribers during the month of September, then one subscriber will be chosen at random and receive an entire set of Modern Horizon art cards. Also, any subscriber who comments on every MTG Burgeoning video during the month of September will become eligible for the October Pack Wars. On October 1st, a list will be compiled of all subscribers that commented on every MTG Burgeoning video released during September. From this list, one subscriber will be chosen at random to participate in the October Pack Wars for free. If the chosen subscriber is already a Pack Wars supporter or member, then that subscriber will receive a second spot in the October Pack Wars. So be sure to leave a comment and prepare for war.